Or maybe you don't, actually. Because it's a different time. A different kind of time right now. It's time for Resident Evil 3. Let's get right in it. Ew, video game. There he is. That no they gave him a nose, but it's a real fucked up nose. You can see it like sideways on his face. It's whacked. I might have to end up moving my face around. No, 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 no. We will. I started a new game just to just to see, make sure everything was okie dokie, hunky chunky. Oh shit! There was like lore. Yeah, I skipped this cutscene and everything, so I haven't even seen this helicopter. Cap. Oh right, this is like live footage. Which this is cool. Is a nice little homage to the uh, original history. Resident Evil. Angry mobs the city. Oh, it's not a pandemic. Unless it's multinational. You've used the wrong word, my lady. It's an epidemic. Yeah, damn straight. Commitment. Honesty, integrity, these uh -huh. are the core values that create the I don't believe you, Dr. Matt Gorkis. I don't believe you one bit. Oh, well that doesn't look good. I don't think I don't think it's this DNA civil should do that. That will continue to build a brighter future uh -huh. for all of us. Sure thing, buddy. Are they making nemesis here? Doing some Garbage. Ooh, bleh. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's gonna hold him. Oh, lot he coming. You see, VC, I see, we see. What the fuck kind of shaped helicopter is that? Oh, I guess that was just the top part. So I think that's Nemesis. In the box. Alright, it's fine. I dealt with Mr. X. I dealt with Willy B. Easy peasy. As far as I'm aware, can I read that times at 3? 3 or 3 in the morning? Maybe. As far as I'm aware, this game's a bit more action oriented than the previous one. I know you get like a dodge roll button and if you time it perfectly right, you like slow down time and get to do more damage and stuff. Start first person. I know we don't continue first person. What do we got? We got posters, first books, unnerving combat, mountain, mountain animals, police hat, Police plaque, police car, tiny cactus, pens, and Pepto Bismol. More books I can't read. Perfect. AC with some creams. TV's on, Joe. We should probably turn that off. We should probably close this. I don't want my floor getting wet. Hmm. Not the most appealing ceiling. Yeah, concrete and pipes. Not feeling it. Not feeling the ceiling. The drawer's open. Fans on. This is our big fucking raccoon conspiracy cork board. It's like you got you got Annette Birkin, you got Police Chief Irons, you got cellular happenings. RCPD. I think that's what's her nuts? The immortal chick? But it just looks like a big pile of gross ass meat. Shadow Man. Can't forget Shadow Man. He's in every conspiracy. And then here we can see this looks like this is the original photo from like the original Resident Evil of the Stars members. And a bunch of other stuff I can't read. And a big Raccoon City map. What else do we got? Okay. So we just got the, just a nice little place. Kitchen. We've t two different jams, and you leave them on the table, not in the fridge. Shame. Stereo, bunch of CDs. Another one of these weird black boxes. God knows what's in there. Coffee pot, teapot. Spaghetti! Perfect. 
My favorite. Moon's Donuts. Go for some donuts right now. Bakery bread. 21st. Cat. Cat, cat. Look at that frog, though. That looks like an actual Twitch emote right there. Alright, pictures of some peeps. Sunglasses. Burger, burger. That's an actual Resident Evil rocket launch right there. Raccoon for Raccoon City. Moon's do donuts again. Green herbs. Good feeling. I agree. Minato's Pizza. Anytime, anywhere deliveries. They even deliver to fucking Mars. They even Look at... That's a goddamn alien with a pizza. We'll even deliver to... Does that say Mars? It probably says Mars. How did I know? That it was Mars all along. Shoes. Books. Boxes. Umbrella. Jill, you seem like you live by yourself. Why do you need two umbrellas? I guess unless she's... If she's feeling a different umbrella. You left the sink on. You left the gun next to your sink. You fucking shoot all the water away. Don't do that. I'm pretty sure I know what's coming. You're bleeding. Oh no! You become zombie. <laughs> Don't worry, Julie. Don't turn into a zombie. You'll just turn into a mind-controlled lady in Resident Evil 5 or something. Wesker puts a thing on your chest that turns you evil. Because that's just how that works. Do you now hunger for man flesh? Oh, no, don't do that. Nah, try, try the man flesh. It's good. It's good. Well, I guess she's not having man flesh. Or, well, you know, now that I think about it, it actually took a lot of brain shots to kill the zombies before. That probably wouldn't do it. It gets worse every night. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Mmm. Well, it's unfortunate. The time that this is occurring then. Oh. What's Seems like shit's on? going whack. Everything. The zombie apocalypse. Anything different? Okay, she's been like packing and stuff. I see, I see. Hello? Ah. Too many pills. Yeah, I agree. Still got the Pepto Bismol. Too many booze, maybe. As well. Oh, that's this is just like a little Huh. I don't know why you'd want it like that. If this is where you sleep. Oh well, whatever. That's all the same. I wonder if there are any little Easter eggs and the differences between awake Jill's apartment and a sleep Jill's apartment. Probably not, but you never know. Button, button. I've got the button. What is this? September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. <clears throat> the T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues. Outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this infection period ends. Investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Bummer. You got, like, the spooky lights and all that shit. Setting the mood. For a spooktacular evening. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Ironsmen? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down. Torment me into compliance. And it's working. I'm barely eating. Barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. 
I'll send someone to silence me, of course. You hear that I've been killed, or whatever it is they do to people like me? You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files, I'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. I wonder who that was supposed to be to. Oh, you left it a pizza! Pizza and soup! Coffee. Like, cereal? It's just open. Yeah, there are a lot more... A lot more beer bottles around. Oh, the stove is grody. Too many dishes. Chill. Gotta put yourself together. Message from a colleague. Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. T Stars was the pride of the Force. When the Chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by... While you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team. Now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Aww. Aww. Teammate pizza. Well, the fridge doesn't look too bad. Is this... Oh. I just get to... I just get to look. I just get to look. Beer, beer... Some sodas, some milk. That's a lot of beer. Beer and soda. And... Hot dogs? A long john? I can't quite tell. And now we become zombie again! Like, what sequence of events just caused you to leave the fucking sink on? Were you whacked out on pills and booze? Jill... Were you whacked out on pills and booze? Maybe a little. Well, at least you're not a zombie. But... You gotta get yourself clean. I know you've been through some rough stuff, but you only almost became a Jill Sandwich. You did not actually become a Jill Sandwich. And that's something to be grateful for. Oh, 8.07 p.m. And now the real game begins. Who could that be? Wait, where is your phone? I don't remember. I guess it's over here. I was gonna say, I don't remember seeing a phone. So far, all of my buttons, they do nothing. All right, I'm coming. Is it Jesus? Hello? Jill, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! <laughs> Well, he wasn't wrong. Oh, you can see he's- yeah. Just like the other times, he's got like, his heart exposed. He doesn't even get a nice suit. Like Mr. X. He just wears fucking garbage bags. And caution tape. And I guess shoes. Does he have gloves? Maybe. Why- why would you think that would stop him? It's a tyrant. You've, you've met the tyrant. Holy shit. What the fuck did he throw? Was that the door? Wait, is this whole place? Your place? No, this looks like somebody else's place. What happens if I take too long? Like, what if I just, like, look for shit? I can just take an infinite amount of time. And Nemesis will never get through that door. Good to know. God, I love scripted events and video games. He's probably going to Like, he should be able to just kick that door. He busted through a brick fucking wall. This place is getting all renovated. Oh, Jesus. I was like, this building's already on fire. Also, hi. Oh! Oh, he has a tentacle. Jill, you gotta go faster than that. Oh, 
It's like, why doesn't he just, like, lift... Again, he, he should be able to just toss all the shit clean out of the way. Considering, like I said, I would just bust it through the brick wall. Grab the hard hat. It might be useful. Holy shit, considering all the probable head drama you're about to endure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! He, he could have killed you right there. Jesus. How many floors is this? Okay. Okay. So that, yeah, I'm controlling. What am I supposed to do? I can't do nothing. I got a limp. You know, if this nemesis weren't so fucking stupid, I'd be dead already. Good thing he's so fucking stupid. You collapsed yourself in, you fucking idiot! Well, that's a problem. That's, uh... That's a big tyrant shape problem. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, I can't even... Oh, there we go. I was just about to say, I can't even get off the wall. Do I start the game damaged? Wounded? Hindered? Injured? Okay. I, I accept. I guess it is... It's Brad! Dr. Scott! You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard it's on a big, It was a big fucking guy. You, and me. you know what it was. Around. You know what it was. Just look around. The more we are. Exactly. How this all happened so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Do I have a map yet? No. Liquor. I'm just assuming that there's nothing scrumptious for me to grab. Refresh your mind. Activate your neurons. Achieve enlightenment through carbonated beverages. Just like our forefathers would have wanted. Free yourself from the delivery of evil and enter the coffee shop of the cosmos. Or perhaps the Sigourney of the Stellar Highway. Hey, I can run now, thank God. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, was I supposed to be looking, watching a thing explode? Is it, go. is the blob gonna come out of there? Can I have the blob fight Nemesis? Oh wow, that's uh, very low graphics at the end. Okay, I might need to, might need to bump up the graphics. I put the graphics pretty low, because I noticed there was some hitching going on when I was playing the first one. Ooh, wow, that looks kind of bad. Uh, bye, bye. Why? Jill, run. Run. Jill, run. There's like four of them. So many. Whatever. Get in the club. Door behind you, go! Oh, that was fast. He didn't even fucking use his knife. Don't think about it. Well, he's gonna get Zamboed. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Yeah, he's done skis. Take the beer with you. Oh, or the plates. Or nothing. Can I go back? He got a big chomp him. Oh, you're gonna get... Oh, gun? Gun? Sorry. Yeah, I guess they were a fellow police officer. Oh, I thought it was going to be a dog, like, right away. Are you going to teach me how to shoot? What if I run? Yeah, I see no reason to... Ooh, that takes a while. Yeah. Fuck. Crazy! Everything's crazy in this town tonight. The dead are coming back to life. Creatures of night. 
Brought to light. Parking garage. Okay. You, sir. Are you all right? Oh, Thank fuck. You. No, that is actually a guy. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can the take The only safe place is in here. Perhaps. Gets immediately busted on by Sir, Nemesis. What's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? Alright. Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. You've got nothing on you that identifies you as such. Oh, yeah. You've been doing a bang up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. That's fair. Now leave me alone. Though how are you going to go to the bathroom, my dude? I guess he could... He's got a pretty good chance of being able to just leave, go to the bathroom, and then come back without anything bad necessarily happening. Or at least without anybody stealing his hidey hole. Alright. Well, reloading's still the same. And this gun holds more than 12 bullets. Right from the start. I like that. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I thought that was dogs. That's just a regular zombie. I mean, it's, it's still not great. Don't. Just keep going. Just keep moving. No fear. Only action. <laughs> uh. Hey, buddy. Well, I guess I don't have to pay the fare. I mean, I guess I'm not bringing a car. I could steal a car. You're a guy. I'm leaving. Keep your ticket with you. Holy fuck. That's cheating. Am I gonna have to fight my way past this shit? It seems probable. Oh, you're a little, you're a little flappy dappy do, aren't you? Okay, we're just gonna go. He's crawling. We can just zoom on by, easy peasy. No need to kill him. Oh, now the door doesn't work. Oh, come on! He couldn't have gotten at me that fast. Get the fuck out of here! And stops on like floor floor yeah floor four and suddenly nemesis let me get on the helicopter and we leave and game over you see hey, where the fuck are you gonna land this place looks a little full hey, do they have a ladder maybe public market Pu public market yeah there's no way this doesn't end poorly car take that one why not looks like a good car I have a feeling it might not be mi oh hi uh, <laughs> I like how she keeps apologizing it's lucky that he wasn't full-on Zambo it's also a good thing that he's just a big slow son of a bitch it's my turn bitch <laughs> wow, wow, that, uh, that ended hilariously badly. Oh, she was still driving the whole time? Oh, fuck. Why did the airbag not go off? Jesus. Yeah. No, I have a feeling the airbag really should have gone off. Jill... I know you're probably feeling like a pile of shit. You gotta get the fuck out of there. He just like kick the fucking car at her. And we just like take her out. Uh. Shoot him? I, I guess that's probably not gonna help.
Well, that's not a good sign. That's like the fucking Resident Evil boss killing weapon. And it just didn't. It just. Well, I guess the second one did. Who are you? What are you doing? Name's Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. Oh, I don't think there is a safe place. That fucker's gonna keep coming. Oh, is it still showing? I yeah, it is. Clear. Hold up. No, I'm set to do not disturb. Oh god, you can see all that shit. Whoops. Whoops. Hope so. Okay, so I think it's they just the achievements that are gonna show up then. Here, where? Subway. The guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. Oh, he's got an umbrella thing on his shoulder. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Tyrant of the deep. It's a very alien. Hell Squid right, Zero. The Hell Squid's origins hey, revealed. They weren't extinct. Only sleeping. Devil's Ball of Fear. No spares in this game. Sudden death bowling. Wolf of the Battlefield. Interesting. Oh, I can just walk back out. Am I gonna encounter Nemesis? Oh, hey, I have a map now. Well, it looks like there's nothing out here. And in fact, I can't go any further than this. Easy peasy. What's this? Uh, umbrella. Oh, umbrella. Oh. All right. Well, I'm done having my tantrum. Back down to Subway Town. Central Street. Yeah, there's... Material. On the ground. There's Icky. Where the... How the... Where the fuck am I going? Doorway. Easy piece. Hi, oh, Carlos. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No, thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen. I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the umbrella mm, biohazard. We'll see about that. Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to... Oh, well, she's not going to say anything? Yeah, uh, Umbrella developed this fucking virus that's uh, causing people to turn into zombies. It's this way. And they were extraordinarily irresponsible. Dino bites! So tasty, they might go extinct. Red and yellow. Be sure to brush your teeth after eating. This this almost... They, they're like a cross between the fucking dinosaurs from Bubble Bobble and the two M&Ms from the M&Ms commercials. It's like a perfect fusion. Yeah, like I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it's like a pure 50-50 split. What's this? Mmm, lobster. Jim Krabs. Try our special lobster menu. Only available September 1st to October 31st. Think about the 21st century. Will robots surpass humanity? Science Forum. Discussion between Dr. Light and Dr. Wiley. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, there's the first reference that I recognize. Discussion between Dr. Light and Dr. Wiley. Perfect. Coal. Traditional Japanese restaurant. Party, party, party. Hey, let's play with me. That's not... How you, that's just a very strange way to say that sentence. Hey, you would either say, hey, let's play, or hey, play with me, not hey, let's play with me. Because that makes it sound like you're playing with yourself, which has implications for a big, creepy adult clown like you. We're not going to look at that poster anymore. <laughs> Skull stalker, stalk, stalker, adrift in space. Skull stalker on the red planet. He will find a turn. I mean, I, I, obviously that's like a Terminator reference. I can, I, I get like some of the movie references and stuff, but I mean specifically Capcom 
like to put little tongue-in-cheek references to their other games in a lot of their games. Astral Crunch! For cadets of all ages, blast off every morning, space kids. Freak Cinema, 1998. Okay, we've seen those. Big, wait, wait. Big E! Perfect. Featuring several special guests. Back home for one night only. Okay, there's Mega Man. Perfect. Living corpses. I never give up. Is that what she's saying? The Great Gladiator versus the Executioner. Fighting story. Something of the strongest. Must read comic books. Untold tales. Horror movie classics. Zombies. They come to town. The monster fan. Piracy under the waves. Find the treasure of Captain Roger. Oh, that's the place where we go. This is the place where we go. I guess these ones are... These are empty. There are no refugees in here. What are you trying to pull? Hey, You're trying to pull something. This fine young lady could use our help. I need bullets and hoagies. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Stars? Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. This man knows what's up. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Mmm. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. Yup. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. It's better than nothing, I guess. We need help. My men cannot do this alone. Hmm. On one hand, fuck Umbrella. On the other hand, All right. it is my duty as a police officer. I'm in. Alright, alright. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. Fair stipulation. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to can I have contact. Bullets? You look like you have so many things in those pouches. <laughs> okay, first things first. We need to I get have you your gear. gun. Yes. Yes. You'll find supplies there. All right. Is that that that's that's it. I need to get you geared up. So go get geared up. Hell fast. Make every day a hell fast day. Oh, maybe that's what she had in her fridge. New location in downtown RC. Our prices are out of this world. Wear it out. Worn out tees. Gotcha. Get it? Like, as in wear it out, like outside, but also get it worn out. Yeah. Yeah, he won't live long enough to be missing those chunks. Civilians. But hopefully none of them turn into zombies and cause a big fucking problem. Like at the police station. Do, 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 do. These are all the same. Same old, same old, same old. Okay. How do I learn how to dodge? Where's the dodge key? Oh, oh, R1 for Dodge Reno. Buh, buh. Hold up, she did a big, big, big back dodge. Is it because I kept hitting the button? I don't know. 
It looked like it was like one smooth animation. What have we here? Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covering her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. A third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man's steak? We here at the news come and have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial have been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. We cannot turn the page. Disappointing. Redstone Street. Jill? Hello? It's me again. You topside yet? Where no, I was on? reading tabloids. So what's the plan? Tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy oh. that. Let's do this fast. So when you said I was gonna get geared up, what you meant was I'm gonna do your fucking busy work. Gunpowder. I'm taking I have to shoot that box open, huh? Oh. Oh, wait, no, I have a knife. Oh. Oh. It's not a survival item anymore. This is like a permanent... I just have a knife. I have a forever knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know how to combine items. I was literally about to do that. Basic chemistry. Yeah. Okay, it's not terrible. Okay, having an always knife is pretty cool. Yeah, that needs a key. A simple lock. Oh, am I going to get a... Please use ticket gate. A uh, lock pick, right? I am Jill Valentine, master of unlocking. Yada, yada, yada. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to get your boo-boo, go someplace else. Here in the big le leagues, we miss our, mix our own meds. So get these recipes memorized. Greener press red herb, or greener times three, maximum potency. Can't make these yourself, grab them if you see them. So are there no blue herbs, or... Do we just not learn about blue herbs at this time? Could be either. Hello, what the fuck are you? You're a... Mystery... Object. What the fuck? It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right... Whatever it is. Is this how I turn the power back on? I don't know. Okay, box looks the same. Anything else? Run, Mia. Looks good. Uh, we're not on hardcore. You put like the green herb away. Uh, wait, actually, am I injured at all? No, I'm fine. I'm fine, baby. Downtown subway ticket gate. Rock and roll. An hour and a half, and I finally get to play the fucking game. Oh, Jesus. Four survivors. We've got to get that train moving. <gasps> All right. But oh shit. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the combat mechanics down. Okay, I can dodge with my knife out. That's good to know. Stab him in the groin. You can also do some work to like make sure he's really, really dead. Not have to worry about it. Are you still alive? Are you still? You look a little flaily. Yeah, flaily shillaly. We're actually we're still fine. I took like a bite and a half. I managed to mash quick enough to get him kind of off me the second time, but 
this were two, I would definitely be in caution, if not danger, at this point. Alright, well, that's one zombie knifed entirely to death. Oh, hi. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ooh! No, fucking put your knife out! What the fuck?! I tried to keep knifing him! And she just, like, wiggled around a bunch. Pull your fucking knife out and stab this- Holy shit. Okay. I'm in mild danger. She's still going. He seems pretty dead. Oh, I don't even get a mash, so I guess this kills me. How many bites did I take? I felt like that took like six. For me to finally bite it. I am dead. Die. Alright, fucker. Let's dance. No, really? I don't understand how I'm supposed to fucking time and space that shit. Like... Do I have to not have the knife out when I dodge to get the roll? Is that... the issue? Come on. I guess I gotta start super early. Come on, show me what you're made of. It doesn't help that, like, all- he's got a bunch of different fucking lunge animations. Come on. Okay, so I gotta be- she automatically does that if I'm close enough. And if I'm not- well, I should say, if I hold- if I get my knife out, she automatically does that. Or not. Fucking- I don't under- what the fuck?! Come on! Like, I'm holding the buttons and then, like, trying to get the fucking knife out. And it's like, okay, do I have to wait a bit it and then hold it? Because I, like, let go of the button and held it again. She's, she, like, is holding the knife, but is not... Ready the knife. Yeah, okay. If I have the knife out, I don't appear to be able to get the roll. Come on, big boy. Yeah, he seems to move a bit too far away from me. What if I go backwards? Come on. There we go. That's supposed to be like a critical hit. Oh, fuck. Shit, I hit the wrong button. Okay, well... I feel like I took more damage against that guy than the first time. Then again, I spent a lot of time not stabbing him, and instead of just... Instead of just trying to, like, learn the dodge mechanics. I'd rather try to do this knifey stuff- Oh, fuck, I hit the wrong button. To dodge. I hit X to dodge. X is not the dodge button. X is the, the yes button, the go button. Okay. Obviously, the more dudes we can just deal with with the knife early, the better. Nope, oh, come on. How was that not a dodge?
Nice. That's fuck. I keep hitting the wrong button again. She like moves sideways. I tried to go straight backwards. Wow, you just climbed all the way the fuck up. Okay, I clearly don't have this down. Like, at all. Wow, I actually looped all the way back around to him. Put it, put it in his butt. Oh. Just stabbed him in the butt enough times and he died. Right? Nope. Now is he dead? Wait, what the fuck? What is this, like, weird shimmy I was doing for a second? I don't know. Now we're in caution. Yeah, I don't think they're actually open. Okay, come on. I want to be able to get through one... At least that first guy, without taking a bite. Come on, big boy. Ooh! I can probably get one stab in there. Safely. Like, she doesn't... Bring her fucking knife back out. Come on. A knife? Yeah. Come on. Come on. A knife. You know, this works too. Or it doesn't. I don't know why sometimes I dodge that and sometimes I don't. Fuck. Yeah, maybe dodging straight backwards, like... That might be a good way to get the, the, the dodge roll, but it's maybe not a good way... Or the counterattack. But it's maybe not the best way to actually dodge the damage. Capiche? Now there's two of them. Come on. Yeah, it would not... It did not let me follow that up at all. Alright. So I think we're going to have a policy we're not... What? No, don't continue in fucking assisted mode. I'm trying to learn... I'm trying to get... I'm trying to learn how to play your fucking game. I'm... Tr I'm, I'm put making it more difficult on myself now. So that way I can make it more... Easy on myself later. Come on. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. That... Makes things slightly more difficult. Okay, get a little bit of space. Where is he at? Alright, back to square one. I shouldn't have double dodged. I could have got one stab in. Come on! Knife fight with a zombie, let's go! I got a knife, and I'm ending your life. Ugh. Fuck. How, how, she just didn't stab. She got her knife out. And then just didn't fucking stab. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I was definitely too close on that one. Fuck sake. Ah, today, bitch. I need like six stabs to the chest. Yeah. No, I'm definitely way too close to him. When he starts his lunch. Oh my god. Jill. She controls a little... I don't know how to... What the fuck are you doing, Jill? That little, like, jump back she sometimes does. I'm not doing that. I literally wasn't holding a direction on the control stick. I want to get this guy. I want to get this guy at least. fucking dark. I couldn't see where I was dodging. Or failing to dodge. As the case might be. There we go. Come on. Nope. 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 nope, nope, nope. Fuck. Right in the nads. Aha, bitch. Okay, fine. Holy sh- Where the fuck did this guy come- Was that the same fucking guy from before? You still a- The fuck alive? 
That's cheating, good sir. You're not allowed to get back up after I stabbed you like four times and you were not up. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I'm surprised that one wasn't the one. Where the fuck is the other guy? Holy shit! Well, I'm glad he didn't bite me. Well, the other guy was biting me. Fuck. I dodged too early, and then I got put up against the wall. No, my neck meets. Ew. Die. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. Is that auto save this? I assume that's what this is. Like, how was that not a fucking critical dodge? I still don't, I still don't have it figured out. Come on, big boy. And a roll. No. I don't understand. Am I too early? Am I too late? What's... What's the issue, exactly? Scoo-doo! Nope. Oh, maybe I'm too early. Maybe I gotta do it right at the last fucking second. Oh! Yeah, see, no, that missed. You gotta do it, like, right at the last second. Okay. Okay. Come on, big boy. Oh, you smelly bitch! You smelly bitch! I figured you out. He's a smelly bitch, because he's a zombie. See, I tried to crit, but it didn't crit. Yeah, she just, like... No! No, fuck. That was my fault. That was my fault. I hit the wrong button. I tried to get my knife out. Instead, I dodged. And it wasn't really a dodge. I put myself directly in his path of power. Alright. Now, can I do this with the knife out? My FOV's a little different. Oh, you can! No! Shit! Oh, she like dodges way further with the knife out too. She moves slower though. Come on. Fuck. Okay, let's try going straight backwards again then. Uh, didn't do the fucking critical. Okay, maybe gotta let go of L2 and hit it again. Come on. There we go. There we go. Holy shit. Yeah, he started that. He started that animation real close to me. Alright, alright. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Gotta keep him, like, two arms lengths. Yeah, like, there. I don't want him lunging from, like, any closer than that, ideally. That didn't... Okay. Try again. See, that one I feel like was too late. Because, like, I just barely started the dodge animation. Yeah, she didn't fucking... I don't understand. Yeah, there's like a timing to the doing the critical attack, too. Okay, he got back up. At least once before. Okay. Getting his legs off. Oh, you're still, you're still bumping and driving, huh? Yeah, we'll see how fucking drived you are after this shit. Thought the other zombie was perhaps coming. Okay, you know what? I got grabbed once. I'll take it. 
Yeah, sometimes, she, like, I'm not, I'm literally not even holding the fucking control stick. And sometimes she does, like, a little, a little more forward jab. Sometimes she does, like, a hop backwards. Apparently not. Apparently I'm full of shit. Is there any durability on- nope. You can just- you can just knife your life away. You can knife their lives away. Alright. If this zombie gets back up, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay. If I'm holding all the way backwards, I just knife moving backwards. Or, no, not even then. If I'm already moving backwards, yeah, then I just knife backwards. If I, like, tap backwards... Oh. How strange. Yeah, if I tap forwards, or if I'm knifing while I move forwards, she just stays in place. If I'm holding backwards but not moving backwards... If I'm already moving backwards, then she still just knifes in place as I move backwards. But if I tap backwards, or hold backwards without having started moving backwards, she does the little stab and leap. Interesting. And if I'm not holding anything, she does a lunge forward. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Alright. I don't have time to fucking knife all this shit. I know if I do dodge rolls, I can get pistol crits as well. It's gonna be even harder to turn dodges like this. Well, I'm gonna stab the shit out of you, sir. If I can get free damage, I'm gonna get it. Oh, fuck. Nope, don't trust that. We're gonna do our nice little forward lunges. Okay, we're moving a little further forward every single time she does that. We have an indestructible knife at our disposal. Never have I loved the knife so much. Since Resident Evil 4, baby. It's a, it's a knife that doesn't break. It's always useful. My kind of knife. Now this fucker. I expect this fucker to get back up. Oh wait, no, I blew his entire head into pieces. That's right. Now this fucker. You could definitely be a whole ass zombie, huh? Well, it doesn't look like it. You seem pretty content to let me tenderize your ass meat. Blade ways. Get the hell out of here. I really don't want to have to knife fight a dog. Okay. Seven bullets on three zombies? That's not terrible. Yeah, there's some items out here. I got a little lucky. Hello. With, uh... That one guy exploding. Good thing they don't go between the bars. That would be obnoxious. It says there's some grabbable. Oh, hello. That looks like an explodable barrel to me. Take the gunpowder. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's mm. on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck. Wow. I mean, there is a fire hydrant right there. Toy uncle, everything you want. Would you guys shut the fuck up? Don't make me come out there. Okay. Oh, fuck. I was about to say, apparently we can't interact. But we totally can. I can knife through the bars and there's nothing they can do about it. Gotta put this out. Well. I can throw gunpowder into the fire. You know. A little makeshift fireworks. Have a little bit of fun. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. 
Though, that does open up a new pathway for me. Let's go into the toy shop. Let's go into the toy shop. Let's go into the toy shop and get ourselves... Oh, fuck. Raccoon Tunes! Uh, I'm just gonna go. Yeah. They're not in my way. That guy's a little in my way. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they definitely put more zombies in more places. I missed something up there. This early into the game. Hey, it's Moon's Donuts! And Jim's Crabs! Good for Jim. I saw you on the refrigerator. Uh, left or right? This looks like... No, never mind. This definitely goes somewhere. A doorway. Uh, hello? Oh, you look like you're gonna be problem-shaped in a second. Did not mean to do the backwards. I was trying to go sideways. I'm gonna make extra super crispy special sure that you're as dead as- I'm just gonna cut all your fucking tendons. And even if you do become zombified, you won't be able to goddamn move. Cut your jaw, cut your hands, cut your legs. The whole thing. We're gonna give you the fucking Griffith treatment. You're not gonna be able to do dick. I see. Extra owner's journal. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff that make they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. There's no sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all the cash that's rolling in. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen, and she'd never give it up to a thief. Aqua Cure Queen. Hmm, what does it mean? Paintings. Big bag. Hi. You trying to knife this guy? No, I think I think my my days of pure knife attitude are behind me. Fuck. Double shit. Crap. <laughs> Alright. Well, that wasn't so great. I did seven bolts for two zombies, and there I did five bolts for one zombie. Admittedly, I missed two of them. Now what? More bullets. I have a lot of... Well, I have an okay amount of bu bullets. 41 bolts is a pretty good amount. We only got one gun. I do not know where I go. Yeah, I'm somewhere entirely new. Uh, Kite Rose, Railway... Fucking... Wow, he's just... I'm running out of... I can't dodge up here. Unless I roll past him. You are moving your head away. Makes it a little difficult to shoot at. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Got a little bit of knife damage. I accept. That blows entire brainial. Nope. like being that close to his arms. Are you good? Seems alright. Can get his foot off at least. That'll be a little helpful. Maybe? No? That was a really delayed blood sound effect there. Come on. 
Alright, he seems... Pretty definitely dead. But... That's, that, that's their one trick, man. That's their one trick. You think, oh, he's dead. Ain't gonna be no problem for me. And then... Instant problems for me. Alright, well, I think I've put him through enough abuse. Redstone Pharmacy. Guy said something about Aqua Key. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna... Fuck. I just had to fucking poke the bear, didn't I? With a knife. I guess it's more of a stab. Shit. No, stop. Stop being near me. Just as a general rule. These guys are, seem faster. Ooh la la. Okay. Uh, these guys seem pretty content to leave me the fuck alone. Take the herb, the slurb, grab some Clorox. New formula. High grade gunpowder. Yep, yeah, what did that say? Combine with gunpowder to create shotgun shells or combine with another high grade for magnum ammo. Okay. Um, well, I don't currently have a shotgun, so I think I'm actually just gonna do that. Did you always get that many bullets? 15? Yeah, actually, that sounds about right. I think the bigger thing is more that I'm probably finding more handgun ammo than before. Choose your medicine carefully. Yeah. You don't say. G. Well, that was easy. So it's nine left. Yeah. Left, right, left. Nine, three, seven. And I actually have to remember that, because that doesn't, like, get put in a file. Like it would in Resident Evil 2. And 10 more handgun ammo. 937, 937. Okay. I guess I may as well go back and see what's in that safe. You guys still chilling? They're still chilling. These guys are still chilling. Practically invented chilling. That just goes down to Nowhere Town. You better still be all dead. He's gonna come to life as soon as I steal his safe stuff. Wait, no, it was... Yeah. Left. Nine. Nine, three, seven. Perfect. What are you? Hello. Got some part for the G19, is that what I have? Yes. Adds a sight to allow for more precision when taking aim. I will take that. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh, that does zoom faster. I like it a lot. <laughs> the way her arms don't keep up with the camera. <laughs> like she's being pulled along. Twisted against her will. So I have a bunch of pistol ammo. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's stop screwing around with knives when we don't really need to. Yeah, if you do the dodge with a gun, you get the slowdown. I'm apparently missing an item out here. You get the slowdown and then your next shot does potentially critical damage. Oh, so whatever I'm missing, it's up there. I'm missing so many things in so many places. A lot of explosive barrels for a metropolitan area. Oh, well. Seems about as good as time as any to use it. Now, are you actually dead? Because I will make super, super sure. I have an infinite knife. And I will use it to solve infinite problems. Yeah, they look, they look toasty. I mean, there could be toasty zombies. They're, like, in the exact same position. Alright. 
It is what it is. What else am I missing? Bolt cutters, for one. We're on the other side of Moon's Donuts. Hello. Holy shit! I was looking at the other guy. Oh, I was looking at the guy on the ground. I didn't even think about a guy coming out of there. Okay. You dead? I say she seems pretty dead. Can I take your police car? Eh? 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 No? Nah. She chillin'. Alright, what's in Moon's Donuts? Probably zombies. Still stuff here, hello. Now we're good. Sitting at like 56 bullets. Ew. Ew, it's a whole diner situation. Pretty much no way one or both of you don't get the fuck up. Really? Can I not? It's not letting me knife. Oh, it's letting me knife this guy. Definitely not making the knife noise when I hit this chick, though. They're gonna get up. They're, they're, they're gonna get up. I'm gonna be pissed about it, but they're gonna get up. Even though I did my due diligence. I would like to look at the posters, but I'd also like to not get bitten by zombies. These are competing desires in my mind. I'm gonna say, I'm... I think the pistol ammo probably only stacks to 60. Wait, how do you get behind the counter? I guess through the door. Yeah, that'll go... Back out there. Another place with a lock. Oh, I didn't investigate... Oh, where was that other simple lock I saw? I don't remember... Oh, it was here. Yeah, yeah. Gotta remember to actually interact with stuff, otherwise... It may not show up... I think this is... I think they reused one of the models for one of the doors... Down in the Umbrella Labs. In the last game. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Well, thank God. I was like, fuck. I got all this stuff to take and nowhere to put it. When suddenly, somewhere to put it. Uh, yeah, I think we're good on bullets. I'm just gonna keep the gunpowder for later. And with the herb. Are we at three green herbs right now? Could make another full heal if I need it. Yes, I know all about examining items, but thank you. Lips that shame the red, red rose. An imitation ruby. Oh, maybe this goes into the thing down in the subway station? That's... Would probably look better on higher graphic settings, not gonna lie. It looks like some PS2 dog shit. Is this really my, only my second save? Wow. Yeah, I guess I haven't been in that much danger. Also, I haven't seen a save station. Wait, oh, so I can't actually get yeah, the, the typewriter's in the way. Okay, so there's that. Um, are there zombies out here? Yeah. Also, items I'm missing. Specifically in this section. Hello, gunpowder. Got it. Uh, the fence was, like, right along here, right? So whatever I'm missing in this area might be... Or no, 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 no. No, that's the alley. No. 
Yeah, that has to be, because that's the subway station. I went through that alley. No, that's the fence. Yeah, so I'm definitely missing something here. There's another doorway I didn't go in. Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to drop off this gunpowder since we're right here. Yeah, I got lots of pistol ammo. I got the fancy feet. He's just like, ah, fuck it. Ooh. Oh, I can't go up the left side. Yeah, there are a lot of zombies in the way. They seem confused. Okay, well, there's two heads completely blown out. She just doesn't even care. I guess that tracks. Zombies is too dead to care. I'd like to go up and knife her, but I don't like the way this man's wiggling toward me. Four shots hasn't even fallen up. Yeah, she's back up. Well, uh, he's down. She's back up. She's still not doing nothing. Okay. She exploded. I gotta worry about that corpse right there. Yeah, these three are all brain exploded, so I don't need to worry about them that much. How are you? You seem pretty dead to me. You know, just saying. Can I cut your legs off like in the last game? It would be super cool. I mean, these guys do take a lot of stabs, but I also shot them in the brain four times. Okay, we are about to have company. How about you? Yeah, she seems, uh... Pretty, pretty out of it. Okay. Wow, fuck. They don't, he didn't, like, stagger or nothing. Okay. Oh, fuck. Where's the door? Where's the door? Get in! Okay, almost got grabbed. Could've been bad. Still, so far so good still. God, they really just take an obscene fucking beating. How many headshots? You know, fuck it, he's leaving. So you started getting grabby and then you kind of stopped. Does that mean you're done? Yeah, I think maybe I just like stabbed him one too many times and now he's toast. Okay. Now, as for you two, yeah, you get the fuck down there. Oh, fuck, this is my first miss since we've been out here. It's about to happen. Yes! Yes! Okay. Yeah, I didn't think you were fucking done. Or maybe that was his death wiggle? I don't know. I've seen him do a death wiggle before and get back up. No... I think he would have gotten back up by now. It wouldn't take this much fucking punishment. Okay. Safety first, kids. Make sure the things that you kill are actually all the way dead. Toy uncle. You'll get caught up in the toy uncle. Can I, like, get into the trunk of this car? No. So there's some item somewhere out here. Excuse me. In the car? Oh, fuck. I didn't even see this guy. How you doing, buddy? You okay? You alright? You have too much to drink? You need some Pepto Bismol? I got some Pepto Bismol back in my apartment. Okay, well. I don't think Pepto Bismol is going to save this man. What am I missing? Gunshots in the distance. Yeah, I came through here. Thank you very much. I don't know who wrote that. It's not showing up on my chat thing.
I'm gonna assume that was Pajumajo or Janerdling. Why is there no history of chat happening? Oh, no, there's just nothing. Uh, uh oh. No, the whole bot's having itself a problem. Hold up. Oh! There we go. Your Wait. chat is busted and you should refresh or something, D. Whoops! <laughs> yeah, I just assumed nobody was chatting this entire time. Oh my god, crown the king. Gee no, Dr. Light is the guy who made Mega Man. Not in real life, but in the Mega Man universe. Dr. Light is the rival of Dr. Wily. He's the guy who built Mega Man. Yeah, no, I just assumed nobody was here. I I have not seen a chat message this entire time. I think you really stepped into it this time. Also, why does RE3 look so fuzzy? I probably have the graphics set lower. That's what he needs. He needs Pepsi, man. Thank you very much, Jinnerling. Thank you very much, Jinnerling. Okay. Yeah, no, um, because I noticed a couple of times where there was, like, loading and hiccuping during the gameplay of RE2. So, I set the graphics even lower. They're almost as low as they can go. So, yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't look super good. But that's fine. It plays, it plays pretty well. <sighs> yeah, welcome to the internet that let me be your guide. Welcome to Toy Uncle. Can we, can we do, like, reverse Dead Rising, where I start with a lethal arsenal, and then just pick up a bunch of goofy weapons for shits and giggles? Is this toy cack? Oh, fuck, it is. Well, I really hope I don't take off my shirt and get killed by Greg Kinnear, because if I do, that would just really sour this evening. That would really be the sour, stinky cherry on top of this garbage fucking pie. The fuck is this one item? There's one item in this area. Is it shit nugget or shit nuggets? Thank you very much, Jaredling. Everything is fucking wonderful. Oh, I haven't been in here. Oh. Well, that would do it. Maybe it's red just because that's to be like, hey, you haven't unchanged no! these things. What are we knowing? I don't know what's happening anymore. Uh, okay, so I still have something on the stairs, apparently? I still have all that area to check out. Alright, whatever. It wasn't shit nugget or shit nuggets. Shut your face, you fucking shit nugget. That's the... That's the quote. Uh No, you should be fucking ashamed, you fucking shit nuggets. You should be fucking ashamed, you shit nuggets. That was it. Ashamed. You should be fucking ashamed, you shit nuggets. 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 There you go. Thank you very much, Jared Ling. You got it. Yeah, it's ashamed. You should be you should be fucking ashamed, you shit nuggets. Cause that's the line. Go into donut. So we need a lockpick. We need a clippy dippy, and we need. Thank you. Uh, a thing to make a fire hydrant go. We need to make fire hydrant go burr. I have not been here. Kite Bros Rail. Oh, I think this might be the place I go. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was getting all in there. Oh, fuck. This place is also red. It goes all the way up the stairs. Either there's something by those zombies. I'm into runes now! Thank you, Junior Ling.
Oh. Yeah, that makes this easy. I was like, uh, I don't really want to have to fucking spend all the bullets and shit to fight two zombies. <laughs> it's like there's a big, big red barrel. Yeah, I think in this game, if they die from an explosion, then they're very, very dead. This is my boomstick! Thank you. Unfortunately, we have not actually encountered our boomstick as of yet. Oh, shit. Yeah, bitch. I know what was up. I was getting my free stabs while I could. Are those wings all natural? Just go there. Thank you. They are indeed all natural. Grown with Vitamix. And plenty of lard. Every day for breakfast for 45 years. Until the end times. God, I hope not. I mean, I'm not competing. Or, I don't intend to be a contestant. Let me put it that way. But somebody might put my name in the Goblet of Fire. All that. All that for some gunpowder. Well, it was probably worth it. Well, was it worth it? How many bolts did I expend? One. I, probably like four or five. Yeah. A gunpowder is worth... About seven and a half bullets, because it takes two gunpowders to make 15. So I guess that probably was worth it. It's it's true. It is indeed true. That it, That is a true-ass quote. Uh, subway control room. Seems like a place to be. Uh, but he said we gotta turn on the power first. Is this the place where we go once the power's on? Can I, like... Cannot knife the glass. I guess that makes sense. Have you ever tried to bust glass with a knife? Even a combat knife? <sighs> there were raptors. Lightning raptors, if I recall. There are too many actual corpses in this game. And RE2, every single fucking corpse becomes a goddamn zombie at some point. Except for, like, three. And they're all, uh, like the umbrella military outfit looking fuckers. How did I know? How did I fucking know? Okay, you're getting, you're getting too wiggly for me, my dude. Well, it's the funniest thing. They're all dead. Thank you very much, Jared Link. Your best quality is not your wiggles. I don't know that he has the best quality. All his qualities are bad. Put it that way. A hose? Oh. Is that all I needed? How do I turn the thing on, though? There were so many fucking fire hose boxes that I've seen. Couldn't I just pick up one of those? I don't fucking know. Well, I got a hose now. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it I'm hits giving me breaking you a breaking no guarantee. Thank you very much. You've noticed uh, some of the new commands I see. Logging it up, although he says that. However, we can see we can see what the no honk guarantee is worth. Not a whole heck of a lot, I'm afraid. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack that should keep it safe from any would-be looters. While I go out and try to find some more shells, things go south. Cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Okay, good to know. That I need the cable cutters in order to get the shotgun. That needs. When you need to use an item to unlock a door, solve a puddle, puzzle, select the item, and then use the use command. No, I I understand. Fuck you, me. Nope, I'm trying to get the hand grenade. Oh, yeah, you just don't have sub-items in this game. You just have to use the grenade manually. That's the only way you can use it. Because because the current car cat is better? Because the current car cat is better. Fuck! Exactly. Fuck! Zombie? No zombie. Keep seeing those gunpowders and thinking they're film rolls. And I get excited, because usually film roll means something juicy. Well, there's our shotgun. 
Nah. Because then I'd have to come up with another 11. For all the other fucking... It's like, I finally... I finally got... No, I finally got one for Porum. Like, Porum and Latula were the last two that I needed for the Alpha Trolls. I have, like... I think 80's lowballing it. I think I have over, like, 200 audio commands. Because I have to think of good ones that fucking fit. Anything else... Like, there's no theme to any of the other ones. I just go, that's a good sound clip. Let me use it. I don't have to try to fit it to something else. No. But you don't understand. It's much harder when I'm trying to fit something to something else as opposed to just going, like, I want this audio clip. I'll just name it based on the fucking line. I have always strived for quality in my fucking audio clips. Don't you dare. Uh, what am I doing? I'm gonna come out there and kick you. Why? About what? This must be you can try to wake him up. Offices. Gotta make sure there are no zombies around. Okay, good. So this is probably where I go to turn everything on, once everything's on. Kite Bros Railway Manual. Ensuring safe subway operations in the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. And if it knows which ones are unsafe, why doesn't it figure this shit out? Motherfucker. There are a lot of places that need a lockpick. Yeah, probably. He has a talent for annoying the ever-loving shit out of me. Uh, Right. Right. I know where I'm going. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Thank you very much for the cat noises, Jainerdling. Yes, I know, but he's probably in bed because I've gone back to goblin hours. I've been forced to. Do I want more handgun ammo? I still have... Yeah. Keep the grenade? A four. Nemesis? Eh. I don't know when that asshole's gonna show up. What time is it? Oh. Wait. How am I two hours and 30? Oh, no, that's what time it is. I was like, how the fuck am I two hours and 31 minutes into the game? When I started playing an hour and 31 minutes ago. No, that's what time I saved. Gotcha. Because the date's right above it. Makes perfect sense. Let's go. Okay. Uh, everyone here should be dead. Yeah, I killed the shit out of everybody. Absolute massacre. Jill could just handle this by herself. Just so long as I got bullets. Or I get really good with the knife. I'll just slowly delete the entire population of Raccoon City. There's no baby, and we're not giving it to Creepio. God, why do we even pay? It's baby time. Uh, it's baby, baby time. Fireman. She made that look easy. She is a super duper cop. Repair. No, there are no babies in this game. Sherry was the, the tiny baby child of the last game, and she will not be appearing in this movie. This video game. Mostly because this takes place at around the same time as Resident Evil 2. Don't think about it, just do it! Like it starts earlier than 2 does? Because we see how Marvin gets bit. But it's mostly concurrent. Well. If it isn't a pair of bolt cutters. Well, 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 well. Are you sure about that? Yes. I'm both sure that 
the two games are mostly concurrent and that we won't be seeing Sherry. We will see Marvin, though. Enormous box! Do you think Jill has an enormous box? I didn't even save. Can you see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not an effect. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? I mean, it... he would have turned. There's your sense of self preservation. You say, no wonder so many of you are dead after Go having killed one of your own members. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. I've been a good boy. <laughs> oh, he was a good boy. Now he's a dead boy. He used to swing from the trees. Now he burns. 220 pounds, 12 laps of the yard, two circuits. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job! Don't know how they're going to wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers. But whatever. I'll take it. Be shitting away the rest of my days behind bars. I gotta get back in shape. 196 pounds, 20 kilometer run, three circuits. Target practice at 400 yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed the stationary target by 5 inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th. Wow, so this is recently. Very recently. Um. Yeah, this would have been after the Arclay Mansion incident. So, like, they were clearly preparing. They were like, okay, some shit might go down. Maybe we should get some soldiers that we can dispose of. Target practice at 600 yards. Two misses. Okay, I've got my shot gripping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The Cap and the other guys are good people, and goddamn beasts of war at that. What the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. Target practice at 600 yards. No misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go in on my first mission. Riot Control in Raccoon City. Oh yeah, September 25th. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people. Right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change. The way I know best. He was a good boy. Nikolai, on the other hand. Not such a good boy. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like I should go back and get a bunch of stuff. Like that shotgun. Which, what's this guy? Oh, um... Glottis. Yeah, Glottis would get us the fuck out of here. Red, red jewel. How many? Do I have like infinite storage? Okay, so where are we using this chain? Here? Wait, oh no, that one's, that one's, yeah, you gotta pick that lock. There's a chain there. That's a padlock. It just doesn't show me the map of this area unless I'm in there. There were more than two chains. Right? Am I whack? What? I thought... Hmm. Maybe there were only two chains. Yeah, no, everything else is lockpick, 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 lockpick. Ah, there's our third chain. Okay. Alright, uh, we just hit the save. Let's rock and roll. Right, that's just a locked thing. Okay, pretty much everything out here should be dead. They might repopulate with some stuff. Alright, chain number one. On the right side here. The supermarket! Super Mario Super Show! 
Another box. Inside, another jewel. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna need four jewels for whatever the hell that is down in the uh, subway. Toilet paper. Always useful in a zombie apocalypse. Just stuff it in their mouths. Can't bite you. That reminds me of a project we did in, I want to say, physics class? Probably grade 11. Back in high school. Rip. Where we were basically given some stuff. We were given, like, a roll of, like, painter's tape and some rubber bands and, like, paper clips and a roll of toilet paper and some stuff. And we're basically supposed to do our best to try and make some sort of contraption or device or something that would let us drop an egg from the roof of the school without it getting damaged. So, like, the, the obvious thing you'd think of is, you know, you'd use all that stuff to try to make it as long as possible so that the egg would uh, drop the least distance possible. Um, you know, maybe use try to protect it or like wrap it up a bunch but uh no i didn't do that i literally just stuffed the fucking egg into the toilet paper roll just like the whole ass fucking toilet paper roll and it was the sturdiest fucking one i think there were only two that managed to survive that drop and then we went for a second drop and that was the only one that survived the second drop. And then to try and actually break it, uh, they got one of the jock kids to basically spike it into the ground, like, with the hole facing down, so it would, like, shake the egg straight down. And it was a good sight, just to, like, watch the, the toilet paper roll, like, bounce off the ground with a bunch of yellow spirals spilling out. It was amusing. Oh, the time we were fucking launching shit off the roof. I don't remember what it was we were launching. I brought you some blue juice. Thank you very much for the blue juice, Jinnard Ling. It was some kind of ball. I actually don't remember. But we had, like, this big slingshot. It was less a, sl a slingshot. It was just, like, a big thing of, like, black... Rubber hose. And then I guess probably something to hold whatever the hell we were flinging. And we were, you know, we were trying to get as much distance as possible. We were, we were experimenting with, like, angles and stuff like that. And then, you, you know, you realize, you learn in physics class that, like, a 45 degree angle is the best angle to get for distance. Um, and there were different people, different kids were being used to, like, pull it back. Like, two kids would have to hold the... The ends of the hose, and then one was pulling it back. Uh, and yeah, the farthest shots we ever got were when fucking Horo was the one pulling them back because he's always had very, very strong legs. And yeah, he pulled he pulled the fucking hose so f f so far back it turned white, like it was black hose. But he just like stretched it, cleaned the fuck out. And yeah, because we were like launching it into the field, and there are houses beyond that field. And there's a fence between them. And I think that one he managed to launch. Like, clean over the fucking fence. And at that point, the teacher was like, Okay, well, we have to stop there. Yeah. But. Yeah. Or it might have hit the fence. I don't remember. I know it definitely went extraordinarily far. What am I doing? I don't fucking know. I said words and then my brain stopped. Is that I'm too fucking tired for this shit? No, no, no. No, no, no. There was nobody in the field. We wouldn't have been launching shit if there were people in the fucking field. It's like a school field. Like, the kind that you do school sports on. Not like just some random field. We were doing it off of the roof of the school. It's 
It's like you would have very clearly seen if there were people in the field. Yeah, it would have been something. Something, something. Okay. That requires lockpick. I like those uh, neon donut lights. Something just made a radio noise. Wait, is that my radio? Music sounds like it's coming from, like, right here. I don't know. Who gives a shit? Uh, straight on through to the other side. Clip. So that'll go to places unknown. Gonna get that shotgun first. I have a little bit of ammo in a box. I'm running out of storage space. Or inventory space, I should say. Um, if I'm lucky, I'm not gonna need to carry these clippers anymore. Why didn't I drop off the first aid spray? Or actually, I probably should have dropped off the herbs because we don't know what else I could combine that with M3 shotgun oh that's got a trash symbol on it yeah okay cool so we no longer need these okay so yeah that does not get any more accurate than that fair a grenade shotgun a pistol and a knife I like it. So that leaves me pretty much one place left to go. Yeah. Imagine I'll probably be picking... Hello, sir. Okay, we're just gonna take a little bit of, a little bit of distance here. Tenderize that ass meat. Oh, is he dead? He seems pretty dead. Let's just make extra special Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3, sure. Alright, cool. Put the bolts back in the gun. I like how you can keep reloading and moving in this game, just like in Resident Evil 2. Okay. We're done with the bolts. I got a place to go. Probably gonna drop a grenade. Yeah, I can't use it to save me, which means I'd have to spend it relatively quick for it to not just eat up inventory space for way too long. Store those two, keep the shotgun, grab the shotgun ammo? Eh, I mean, as well, right? I can sort this. Okay, so I've got a lot of gunpowder. Make a little bit extra shotgun ammo? Sure, why not? Since I'm carrying it. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Alright, so we're we're loaded. Locked and loaded. Alrighty. Out the alley, through the woods, the grandmother's house we go. Gee, Grandma, how pale your skin is. All the better to reflect the moonlight into the eyes of Onlookers, my dear. Oh, I love it when you knock their head off. Oh, you're getting you're getting a little too fresh. A little too fresh, ma'am. Well, I hit one of them. I think. Fuck. Go. 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 Jesus Christ, I can't believe that fucking worked. Ah, you smelly bitches. You can't f operate doors correctly. All right, well, she's all the way dead. Hey, get back here. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Her brain exploded. How about you? You done? He seems pretty done. Usually they'd have gotten up by now after this many stabs. Seem done like... Oh, hi! Wait. 
Oh, th that's just another corpse that was on the fucking ground that I didn't even notice. Okay. Alright, fair game, I guess. I was like, there's no way. I blew the head off of the other one. You are a different other one. Damn. Come on, I don't got all day. Nope. Get real dead. Or don't. Whatever, we got some free knife damage. Okay, suddenly running out of... Pistol ammo. Oh, he died pretty quick. I guess... Yeah, I think he was... No. Wait. Was one of them eating another one? I don't remember. Okay. Well, it appears everyone's dead now. Except me. I'm totally alive. And I intend to stay that way. I already knifed you a bunch, right? There's another other... Oh, I could have just shot that fucking barrel. Uh, actually, could I? Yeah, that one definitely looks red. The others look less red. We'll take the handgun ammo. You look like... Problem. Oh, you don't even make a stab noise. Okay. Lockpick? Shotgun shells. Uh, well, now where the fuck am I going? Oh. Oh, I go up the stairs where Nikolai was. I thought this was the progress zone. Fair enough that it wasn't. So it takes... So I get about 15 regular bullets. Or six shotgun shells. That's about two and a half times as many bullets. On average, it takes more than two and a half bullets to kill a zombie, though. Whereas, at least in Resident Evil 2, a single shotgun blast to the head does it. So I'm starting to think that maybe shotgun ammo is the way to go. Capiche? However, maybe the magnum ammo will be even more ammo efficient, so I should be saving my high-grade gunpowder for that. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't have I don't have space. I need I need an upgrade to my carrying capacity right now. Uh, let's get our pistol back. Where are we going? Ooh, Nikolai Town. It's up the stairs? Yeah. That's a I don't even know. Fox Park in Raccoon City in the state of Bear. Uh, I was I was out of brain power for woodland creatures. Squirrel. Squirrel County. Squirrelyton. Alright, let's get on out of here. Who needs healing items? I'll just shoot all my problems away. Okay. Okay. Zombie? Zombie? Hmm. If I could take any of these cars out of here, that would be super cool. Hello? My, 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 don't you look. Like, potentially a problem. Went right through him. Went right through his noodle. You better not get up. UBCS suicide note. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage, I'd earn it. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. It's the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Alright, well, this... Your wish is, uh, the... T-Virus' command, I guess. Your body did not get back up, it seems. 
Well, there's our power station. Hello. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City's Electricians Guild. Through the ongoing power outages, the guild- I wonder why that's- Why their power outages? Maybe somebody with giant secret underground facilities has taken too much power, huh? The guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. Handwritten edition. You got that? You see a generator spinning sparks? Don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If you make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. Making sure there are no zombies around the corners on the ground. Ha oh! You mean like that? Are you dead dead? Hold up. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I probably didn't need to fire that second shot, but I wasn't sure. That first shot wasn't, uh, like a full-on hit. Alright, well, that's, uh, you know. We, we got to put that into practice immediately. I like it. I don't like that it was dogs. I don't ever like that it's dogs. It's not as bad as Resident Evil 4 dogs, though. Really. Those are pretty inarguably the worst fucking dogs. Sort of like... I don't know, Demon Souls dogs? Or Bloodborne dogs. I don't actually know which one's worse. Having never played Bloodborne. But I know the dogs got like progressively less and less bad across the Dark Souls series. Gunpowder. I am entirely full. Yeah. We go back and drop stuff off now, or keep pushing forward. Hello. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You're not close enough the first time? Shit. Mm. No, this does not instantly explode their brains. It does appear to kill them, though. Mm. It's a little rough trying to set up. I could go for a dodge into a shot. Uh, no, 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 you're a little close. Yeah, I think I like... Wow, he's a little fast. I think I like the old reliable pistol. It didn't let me do the fucking slow-mo crit zoom thing. I don't know if, like, the, the bullet time thing is, like, a guaranteed head explosion crit. If you do it with the gun... Get back down there. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. I at least didn't get hit. Uh, we appear to be all zombied out, unless there's... Okay. Doesn't look like you could fit a zombie in there, unless you really tucked him in. Gunpowder? Meet gunpowder. Yeah, no, you definitely get a lot more bullets. I have probably found as much gunpowder in the game so far as was, like, in the entirety of either campaign in Resident Evil 2. Yeah, we're still a bit injured, but otherwise we're doing fine. Doing fine. Fuck. I was trying to just look at it and see what kind of herb it was. I didn't want to... I thought I would get a prompt to, like, confirm it. Oh, okay, never mind, we're good. I figured I could probably grab it on the way back out. Facts from Substate... There are a lot of fucking notes. Jesus. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. That sounds like a bad idea. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. 
I have a feeling once I reactivate the power grid, shit's gonna pop off. Hip pouch! Very nice. Uh, yeah, I'll actually keep everything I got on me, then. Now that I've got two extra spots. Type writer. Okay, yep. We'll pop it in. Yeah, actually, um, I don't think this is standard procedure for a power station. Things appear to have gotten even more whack than I may have anticipated. That's, that's a lot of whack. That's a lot of big schwack. Not a fan. Green herbs, they work! It was starting to look like Chad was never gonna be back from his round, so I poked my head in there, and fuck me, next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wound, they just wouldn't come up. I was staking around like a madman, and then I saw it. A green herb. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent, so I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed, and what do you know, little things didn't want to be in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm gonna head back out there to look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens. Well, that's not... Oh. Oh. Uh, that's not very encouraging. Substation internal memo! The key to the high voltage area has gone missing and the earliest we'll be able to get a replacement in is next week. In the interim, a lockpick will be provided to the senior employee on duty. We only have one lockpick and cannot afford to lose it, so please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it. And please, could you all check just once more that you did not accidentally take the key home? If you happen to find it, please bring it to Kate in admin. If only I had my lockpick. If only. Okay, looks like he's holding another jewel box. Oh, I don't like this one bit. He becomes zombie! Or maggots. Gross. That is a different looking oh box. My God. Oh, there's the maggots that went down his throat. Brody. That is a... Oh. Oh, we just have it. Specialized tool which allows the skilled user to unlock simple locks. When no key is available. Whatever's in here, I probably can't pick it up. I'm gonna go back. I got a lot of unlocking to do. Okay. So since we're probably gonna want the green herbs for whatever the hell we're gonna deal with there, I'm gonna put these away. We we'll do lockpick stuff from earlier. That will all unfortunately have to wait until tomorrow evening, because it is that time once again. So if you liked what you saw, please feel free to follow both here on Twitch, as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. The next stream is tomorrow night. Well, we're going to be doing a stream from 1 a.m. till 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but there's probably going to be another stream before that in like the regular evening, probably five, six, seven PM till maybe midnight, we'll see. Anyway. You can check out previous episodes of both Resident Evil 3 as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both BitChute and YouTube link down below. And feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. We're gonna go raid somebody, so feel free to stick around for that. Whether you do or not, thank you for joining me and have a good night. <laughs>